hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are organizing my garage um i already started cleaning things out um so it doesn't look too bad right now but this was a hot mess i might insert some pictures of how of all the stuff we took out but yeah we're going to paint um obviously it doesn't it's not like painted when we bought the house it was like this we're going to paint the garage floor we are sweeping cleaning things up um so we're going to paint and we have a couple things to maybe we're going to put them up on the walls to be able to hang up our like our utility items our brooms our rakes and all of that so if you are new here welcome remember to subscribe to my channel before you leave and if you're not new here and returning subscriber returning viewer thank you guys so much you guys are truly appreciated so now we're going to just jump right in and just a disclaimer i am recording on my phone right now um my, my camera is dead so at some point maybe the footage will look better and at that point i have switched to my camera so excuse the footage right now but we're just starting off so i'm gonna set you guys up somewhere i don't know where yet but yeah let's get into it All right guys, so I have some of our tools that we're gonna be using here. This is the paint we're gonna use for the walls. It looks like it's white right now, but it's really like a light gray. Um, we wanna do kind of like not too dark of a gray because the floor color we're gonna be doing is like a charcoal gray. So we wanna to try to keep it neutral, but nice and clean so we have our rollers there extra rollers there and a little one and some paintbrush my paint's already mixed and ready to go so i am gonna do i mean i'm gonna get started hubby went to go pick up a one of those roller sticks to get to the high points and i'm just gonna get started because i'm ready to start So here's an update so far. It's starting to look really good. Definitely hubby is a pro at painting because this is all I got on my side. So I started to do the trimming a while on the parts that were painted. Now we gotta do the top parts. So we only have one long stick for that. So only one person gonna be able to do that. We got that part left, the tops and this and we feel like we might need another can of paint for the ceiling because we didn't couldn't remember while we were at the store if the ceiling was painted or not so we might just get either white paint or another can of this gray paint we're not sure yet
All right, now that I am hot and sweaty, I will show you a quick update. So here is our garage so far. We finished all the walls and do did like the edging. All we have to do is the ceiling. Um, we kind of stopped right there because we ran out of paint, but we have to get another can of paint anyway tomorrow. But we are gonna stop here. We're not gonna do the floor today. We're gonna go out to dinner, but we definitely put in work today and I'm super happy on how it's turning out. So now I'm gonna go shower, get ready, and see you on day two. Good morning, you guys. Today is day two. Um, it is about nine in the morning. Um, I got up to get started. Hubby went out to get another can of paint for the parts that we still need to paint. And um, I'm just gonna get started cleaning up. Um, I'll show you kind of kind of where we are at. I just wanted to show you guys all the stuff that was in the garage and we gotta sort through so this is stuff like my makeup stuff when i do makeup on clients it's been in the garage i gotta clean it um theodore's um walker car seat rims like christmas stuff like decorations workout equipment like all this stuff does not need to be in the garage like this is stuff that can get organized go downstairs in the basement so i'm actually gonna sort through all this decoration stuff because some of them i'm gonna need for Theodore's birthday party so I want to start it out now and leave it in that corner because I already have some stuff in that corner and yeah start sorting it up but I'm going to show you the garage Let's see. so there's the color I can't really tell if you can see it but we had to put in all the stuff that was outside inside because it was going to start pouring so we're going to take everything back out so we can do the floors but that part up there is what we still need and the ceiling so that's what the paint is for but all of yesterday i was recording with my phone and today i have my camera so hopefully the footage is way better so here i got some bins from walmart we are going to organize like some of our tools and car washing stuff and like screws and bolts and stuff so i think this pack right here was a two pack and i think it was two 388 i believe i have to check the receipt but i will put it somewhere and let you guys know this was just a bin that i got like that i was using for my pantry if you haven't seen that video go check it out my pantry organization video i needed an extra bin so i went and got one and then these were 50 cents, these large bins. I was trying to look for similar ones to these at the dollar store, but they ran out. They only had like bright colors, but I found these for 50 cents at Walmart and I got five of them. But we did also get some like racks that you mount onto the wall to put your utility items to. We're not sure if we're going to put that up today. We got to see. I feel like we should have read the instructions to it while we were at Lowe's um in case we needed like some type of drill bit or special accessories to do this okay so i got a lot of stuff cleaned up and some stuff went downstairs so i took like the christmas decorations uh downstairs workout stuff and then i organized a bit the decorations i had and i put whatever i'm gonna use for the party over there so this just gotta go to the basement so now we're gonna start in the garage because hubby's back and i gotta put blue tape on some stuff so we're gonna have to paint with the garage door closed to get up there. Hello. All right, we are done. The ceiling is done. It looks so good. 
and the walls are done. So now we're going to open the garage so we can get things out and do these floors. Look how ugly they are. It was like that when we bought it. It was an asset. We are ready to start painting the floor. This is gonna be set up over here. done it looks so good right now it looks patchy because it definitely needs a second coat Let's see if i can focus in there yep like you can see that it's patchy it needs a second coat it's a very thin like paint it's specific for garage floors it's for concrete so what i'm going to do now while this dries because i need to we're going to do a second coat we just want it to dry is i'm going to start organizing everything that is in here over here so i have my bins there and i'm just gonna try to start organizing all this crap let's see how it goes So here I just have light bulbs, random light bulbs. I didn't realize we had this many light bulbs. I would have used a bigger um, like basket for that. And then here are a bunch of screws as well. I didn't realize we had so many screws and nails and stuff. So I'm not even gonna bother trying to organize this. This is just as best it's gonna get. I found like random bags of stuff that I have no idea what they're for, but they're gonna stay in the bag in case we need it and there's just like random stuff in there as well so that's pretty much everything i can organize um the rack is looking like this i'm just leaving that there for now i'll organize that later because i don't know where i'm gonna put everything and yeah and those two tiki things i'm just gonna take them outside that's a power tool so it's gonna go on one of these shelves with other tools and those are all the baskets for now that's all trash so at least it's organized to a certain point where once we start taking all this stuff inside i can organize it very easily and just pop things right onto these shelves So we are done and we started bringing some stuff in so we can get started organizing. 
We already got up the little rack, which will hold the light stuff. And now we still have to hang up this one, but this will be at a later date just because, yeah, it takes a little while. All right, guys, we completed putting everything back in the garage. This stuff over here is going to be, it has a home. We just got to take it to the home. Um, so don't mind this stuff. And that's also we're getting rid of. And then that's Theodore's little car. But the floor, it actually looks a lot better than, you know, besides the spots. So those are like previous oil stains that kind of like peek through. But it actually feels like really nice. And the walls came out so nice. It looks so spacious and looks so clean. We did get up one of the racks for the heavier stuff. There's one left right here. I didn't realize that the kit actually came with two racks. And then there was a little one like I showed you before. Here we're gonna have our trash and our recycling bin. So we got a lot of recycling to do that we gotta get rid of. There's our lawnmower. And then here is the stand. I tr we try to organize it as best as we could. But I'll quick show you up here. Up here we have light bulbs. I forgot to put a um, label on that. Here's like painting supplies and behind it we actually have like the paint trays, like the painting trays. Here is gardening stuff. Here we have tools, um, tool chargers and miscellaneous. So anything that has to do with like tools is pretty much here. So we, here we have like nuts, bolts and screws. Here we have like the hand screwdrivers and like these are um, other pieces for our drill. Our drill's back there. Here's some more kits and stuff. So this should actually be here. Let's put that there. And then here we have just the leaf blower here, but this is going to be hung up on the second rack once we get it up. So for right now, it's going to stay there. And then we just have some trash bags. And then of course, this is going to be going upstairs. Down here we have our painting stuff this is like leftover paint we had for the floor there's about like a quarter or maybe less of this paint left we did have to do two coats on the floor to get it um, this you know like this dark and then this is also leftover paint from the walls and then that's leftover paint from like my son's bedroom and this is leftover paint from the whole entire house this is all cart maintenance and cleaning supplies then down there's like miscellaneous there's a bag of salt for the winter and this is an attachment to the um lawnmower so that is pretty much how well we have it organized i do want to get more of these bins because they actually worked out so well so at some point like there's gonna be like another bin here and then i can kind of like sort these like inside like this so it looks just more organized and more appealing but yeah this is how our garage is looking it's looking super nice i'm super happy about it i did even say like this is such a nice like area now that i would actually like so hang out here in the garage like i would leave the garage door open at night time set up a couple chairs here and like have a drink in here like it is so just nice and homey like it does not feel like a garage at all. I hope you guys enjoyed our little, I would say garage makeover update, however you wanna call it. Um, of course, like I always say, there will be more organizing videos, more um, home updating videos, because like I said before, we bought this house about a year ago, so there's a lot we need to update. Excuse the background noise, uh, since I have the garage open, there's people outside and talking. So, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Like and comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.